what is happening internationally. Um, the crisis in capitalism has forced, you know, ha has led to the recognition that the G7, those great capitalist powers, cannot manage the world economy anymore. Uh, and so you have this shift from the G7 to the G20, yeah. the bringing in of the new emerging capitalist powers, especially what are known as the BRICS, you know, Brazil, Russia, India, China. I think those are the emerging capitalist powers. And that that's how capitalism is restructuring itself now. Now, whether it's possible, you know, for um, movements to emerge in Russia um, and in China, which are going to challenge the, the direction that has been happening in those countries, that would be a crystal ball, and I don't know. Um, I, you know, I think it's essential that there be, you know, a return to, to socialist thinking in those countries. Um, I, I think they're qu quite a distance from, um, from being able to, uh, to talk about a socialist movement in either country. One of my books, uh, two of my books have been translated in China and are being used in courses there, but by a small group of Marxist economists who feel themselves that they've been marginalized. Um, mm -hmm. So I, I'm not optimistic at the, this particular point, but I always, there's always hope if people struggle. And about Latin America, the, f the whole frame of the Latin American situation, which is, of course, the theater of, uh, of these changes, we have talked about Venezuela, mm -hmm. Bolivia, and so on, but it's also a, 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 a theater of competition, mm -hmm. because we now, with the, uh, and even under the new administration of the United States, we are uh, already uh, uh, Discovering that there, that the imperial uh, forces won't stay quiet no. and won't uh, be looking for a, a coexistence with these uh, changes. Mm -hmm. So, how do you see the the frame of the complete Latin American theater? I've I've just written an article for the uh, the new English language edition of Correa de El Orinoco, and it's called the Four R's of Global Capitalism, um, and the, the, I took this from the theme of Davos, which was rethink, um, rebuild, uh, rethink, um, rebuild. I can't remember the thing. And I said so the four R's are first is reverse. And the first reverse for global capitalism is to reverse the advances that are being made in Latin America. Um, and that we see happening in Honduras. Uh, we see it happening with the Colombian military bases. We see it in the constant subversion coming from the United States in Venezuela, Bolivia, and Ecuador. They want to roll back those advances, and that's going to be the first struggle for Latin America. My others uh, were uh, re you know, reverse uh, the second uh, R was, um, third R, but the last R was redivision, um, because mm. redivision is the struggle yeah. between the new capitalist powers uh -huh. and the old over questions like who gets the resources and who has the right to emit carbon and all those questions. But in Latin America, you know, you have the, 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 the one problem is U.S. imperialism. That's there, and that's got to be struggled against. But we also have to recognize that there, in Latin America there are two projects right now. Um, and they're, they're uh, represented by ALBA on the one hand, a project based on solidarity, uh, on, on recognizing the needs of each other, um, and finding ways to build on the basis of solidarity. And on the other hand, the project of Mercosur. Mm -hmm. uh, the trade, yeah. you know, the free trade areas of, of Latin America. Um, and they're also represented the same division between the Bank of Alba and the Bank of the South. Um, one is capitalism and, you know, capitalist enterprises, but not U.S. capitalism. Mm -hmm. And the other is a new point, pointing to a new society. And I think that within Mercosur and the Bank of the South, we have to recognize Brazil is a dominant power and that we used to talk about sub-imperialism. Well, I think it's not quite sub-imperialism anymore because Brazil is really emerging as a major power. Its capitalists can dominate much of Latin America. Nice. So I think that we have to be aware of that mm -hmm. in, in, in talking about the future of Latin America because it's not simply 
anti-U.S. imperialism, there's also another project happening, which is national capitalists in, in, in Latin America. <laughs>
you know, mm -hmm. that if you look at all the problems, you should be pessimistic, and the only way we can change things is by our own activity. Well, thank you very much. Okay.